All right, guys, part five. Let's do this time alignment. Um, make no mistake, about 90% of time alignment is all about getting the speakers in phase and playing together. Um, now, just because the speakers are not out of phase does not mean they are in phase. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. <clears throat> but uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is probably going to be a two-part thing at least. Um, cross or, uh, not crossovers. Time alignment is one of the hardest things to get right and one of the easiest things to screw up. So let's just stick with that. Um, I have here my little uh, cheat sheet. So we have left and right, uh, tweeter, mid-range, mid-bass, and sub on either side. And we're going to, yeah, I know. Everyone's like, dude, your system's off, and dude, you're in the back seat. Dude, I know. We're going to get our handy-dandy tape measure out here. And you want to, we're going to measure each speaker from preferably the voice coil, uh, if you can try and account for that. Um, obviously, this is going to the side, so not a whole lot here, but where this one's over here, might want to add another inch or two um, to try and account for that going all the way to uh, the voice coil of the driver itself. So if we measure, say the left mid base from there, you guys are gonna have to bear with me. Measure from there up to the center of the headrest and we come up with uh, Right about 52 looks like. Um, so we're gonna take that number and because we're not actually sitting in the seat, we're going to subtract two. So that is actually 50 inches. We're gonna do the same thing for the mid range. That's all the way up here in the dash. Uh, right about there. We're gonna come back here, and again, we get uh, 50 and three quarter, call it 50 and a half. Um, so, left mid range, 50.5, oh, nope, not 50.5, because we're gonna subtract two. So it's 48.5. Uh, the tweeter, we're gonna have to wait on. Um, Yep, same day, still have not, uh, those have not dried. Maybe I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of those. Um, let's do right mid-range. Come up with, going to the middle of the headrest as much as possible. Uh, 62 and three quarter. So we get a, uh, 60 and three quarter, uh, right mid range, 60 and 0.75. And let's do the right mid base. And I'll show you guys why I'm measuring these in just a minute. I know, it's all over the place. This one I said, I'm actually not gonna subtract the two from this one because I would just add two uh, to go from the driver or from the grill to the voice coil and that one we're coming up with 64 looks like so I said we're not going to subtract two from that because we're adding two for it going over into the grill um, so that's uh There we go, sorry about that, my camera did not want to focus. And uh, I'm gonna pause this, we're gonna go actually backwards to the subs. All right, back seats fold down fairly easy, so I went ahead and did that. Here's my subs. We're gonna take it and go. Let's see if I can do this and actually get you guys looking at something halfway entertaining. I'm gonna go to the middle of the sub that way I can kind of account for both of them I'm going to leave them at the same delay some people say don't delay your subs we come up with 44 uh, I don't mind delaying the subs and I'll explain that to you guys in a minute 
but um, a lot of people kind of think of uh, alright so a lot of people uh, think of time alignment as say we're gonna take these two speakers the two mid ranges and uh, just use arbitrary numbers let's say these are at your mid my pen wants to write if your mid and your mid left and right so this one's at uh, five milliseconds and this one's at seven milliseconds uh, delay now a lot of people try to think of these as delay and say your uh, mid bass is at nine and um, I don't know six so a lot of people think they can just delay both of these out equal amounts and they're going to delay the speakers like this because um, that's where it's sitting you know from the driver uh, driver's seat and they're going to delay both of these out um, say 10 inches or say you know uh, half a millisecond so now we have 0.5 and 0.5 well they really didn't delay each one of those out you can't really add depth or anything that way what that's doing is changing the relationship between the mid range and the mid base and uh, where those so you have your sine wave if they're both in phase or say they're both not quite in phase you delayed each one of these out half millisecond you know you had something like this going on Again, if my pen wants to work, you, know, you guys kind of get the idea. There you go. You have something like this going on, right? With your sine waves. Music it would be. But if you had a pulse or something. So, if you take your mid-range and delay it half a second because it was uh, going playing ahead of your rest of your... Now your mid-bass and mid-range are playing together. So or they're maybe 90 degrees out of phase, whatever the case may be. Um, really, people need to start thinking about time alignment um, being linear. So instead of, they didn't really delay each one of these, uh, you know, they didn't push each one out, if you will, as some people think about it. Um, what you really did is, uh, it's on a scale, say 0 to 10, and... Um, what I say mid range is at five so your uh, left mid is here um, your mid base is at six so let's call it there um, your right mid base is nine over here and your mid range uh, or you know right mid uh, mid range is seven so it's here so really you didn't delay each one farther out what you did is just delayed them so uh, you just pushed each one over a half second Let's see if I can get my thing to focus you really just delayed each one over half second now we'll talk about this some more later but you want to make sure you keep those two drivers in phase which is how you can delay your left mid-range and right mid-range and keep those in phase with each other while uh, trying to make them in phase with the rest of your speaker system. Um, well, so we'll talk about it a little more in depth later, uh, pushing the 10 minute mark. I'm going to uh, show you guys real quick on how to get these set up in, uh, delay it into, uh, time if you will usually in milliseconds so we have here a uh, handy dandy computer and um, oh, don't worry about that in a minute uh, probably didn't like it being off for so long um, so we have our measurements here and we're going to plug this into uh, this calculator uh, made by uh, some really awesome people, Aaron and somebody else. I forget his name right now. Um, 
But here's the website address, tracerite.com slash calc. I'll put a, a link to it in the description. And so let's see. We're gonna go ahead and just plug in my numbers. I don't have my tweeters right now, so I'll just fudge those. Um, I know about roughly what they'll be. Uh, and again, you can select a two-way or three-way. And um, if you have a Pioneer setup, like a, a ADPRS or something like that, make sure to click yes, because Pioneer actually kind of reverses um, the way they do their math with what numbers you input. Uh, so keep that in mind and go ahead and put my numbers in real quick. So the left mid range, we came up with 48.5 inches, uh, left mid base. We came up with, um, 50. Right mid range, right mid base, you guys get the idea. I'll do this real quick. All right, so I got those put in. Uh, subs at 44, mid base, mid range, uh, and tweeter on either side. So we go ahead and hit calculate. And you see these numbers pop up down here. So these are uh, the right side and left side. And um, these should be, yeah, in milliseconds. So uh, you're gonna go ahead and plug these numbers into your DSP for milliseconds, and that will get you started on uh, time alignment and give you a nice starting place. Uh, and then I'll show you guys how to fine tune from there. Um, as always, uh, subscribe, get your updates for uh, future videos and tuning and lots of other fun stuff I'm gonna start doing. Um, and also, uh, like, as always, have any questions post it up in the comments and i'll try and keep up to date on that for you guys um obviously these are not your guys's numbers you have to actually measure in your car <clears throat> but that'll give us a nice starting place for that and uh go ahead and catch you guys at the next round